In this video, I will be telling you a trick to remember the biochemical tests for Enterobacteriaceae family of bacteria. You have to remember this biochemical tests because you will require them during the identification of the unknown cultures um, in the laboratory and for writing the laboratory diagnosis of the UTI, meningitis uh, and all those infections you have to uh, during your MBs you have to write the laboratory diagnosis and for that you have to remember these biochemical tests. So let's get started. First of all I will be telling which bacteria falls under the Enterobacteriaceae family, what are the tests that we do and then we will be finally telling the trick to remember that. So the Enterobacteriaceae family can be classified into broadly into two groups. The first will be lactose fermenters means the bacteria which can ferment, ferment lactose and the non-lactose fermenters which cannot ferment lactose. Under lactose fermenters they are motile and non-motile. Same for this motile and non-motile. So the motile lactose fermenters are E. coli. The Escherichia coli is a motile lactose fermenter. The non-motile lactose fermenter is the Klebsiella. The motile non-lactose fermenters are Salmonella, the Proteus mirabilis, and the Proteus vulgaris, and the non motile non lactose fermenter is the Shigella. So we will be studying the biochemical tests for all these bacteria. Now what are the biochemical tests available? The biochemical tests are the first is the indole, methyl rate, Voges proscovid, the citrate utilization, urea hydrolysis also known as the UDS test and the triple sugar iron test or the TSI test. I will make a separate video for this the for the tests of uh, about the tests I will be telling you and the important thing about remember about the trick is that you have to remember this order for this order you can remember the mnemonic the im viku this order is important i for indole m for methyl rate v for voges prascove c for citrate and u for ureas in this order if you remember in this order then it will be very easy so now let's get started the first bacteria is the e coli <coughs> for e coli fill up like this it will be plus plus minus minus indole positive methyl rate positive voges prasco and negative citrate negative and for urea it will be same like that of citrate for E. coli and Klebsiella the urea hydrolysis will be same as that of citrate so it will put here again negative I will be discussing the TSI's later for all the bacteria I will be discussing it will together next there is Klebsiella for Klebsiella just make it opposite it will be minus minus plus plus and since I said that urea is same that of citrate for this E. coli and Klebsiella so it will again be positive so plus plus minus minus and minus minus plus plus is it now there is Proteus mirabilis
for proteus mirabilis first put plus or minus in side trade means it is variable it can give positive or it can give negative so put plus minus in side trade and for the rest it is minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus then proteus vulgaris it will be plus plus minus plus and for side trade it will be again plus or minus so the trick is for proteus mirabilis and proteus vulgaris side trade is variable so it is either positive or negative and for the rest it is in order minus plus minus plus 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 minus plus just remember this order now the last two is salmonella for salmonella it is only methyl red positive rest all are negative and same for shigella only methyl red positive all negative so let's repeat again for e coli it is plus plus minus minus again minus for klebsiella it is minus minus plus plus and then plus again for proteus mirabilis and proteus vulgaris the side trade is variable and the rest it is minus plus minus plus and proteus vulgaris is only plus minus plus plus minus plus so there is difference only in this indole the rest all are same and for salmonella and shigella it is only methyl red positive and rest all are negative so if you can remember this table it will be very easy in this order in vicu now coming to the tsi test regarding the tsi test you have to first know what is the tsi test i will be making a separate video for that the components of the tsi test are how many sugar it can ferment all these bacteria how many sugar whether it can ferment glucose mannitol lactose then whether it produces al acid acid or it produces alkaline acid means aa or ka if you know the tsi test then only you will understand that and uh, whether gas will be produced or not and whether h2s will be produced or not so these are the criteria on which we will write the tsi tests so for e coli for e coli and klebsiella it is same both of them ferments more than two sugars both of them ferments more than two sugars that is glucose mannitol sucrose all of them can ferment it by coli and klebsiella since it ferments more than two sugars it will be produce acid by acid means acid slant and acid butt acid by acid okay and both of them will produce gas gas will be produced in both of them but h2s will be absent in both of them so this is the tsi for e coli and klebsiella then again coming to proteus mirabilis and proteus vulgaris for them they can ferment only glucose both of them can ferment only glucose since it ferments only one sugar so it will produce alkaline by acid alkaline slant acid butt this concept of slant and butt have to be known first i'll be making a separate video for that alkaline by acid next is gas 
gas is variable for proteus mirabilis and proteus vulgaris means it can produce gas or it may not be produced so it is variable and h2s they produce h2s they also produce h2s next is the salmonella salmonella ferments glucose and mannitol it will also produce alkaline by acid only e coli and clebsiella is acid acid rest all are alkaline acid alkaline by acid and it is just opposite of e coli clebsiella gas will be absent but h2s will be present h2s will be present this is for salmonella typhi it will be different for salmonella paratyphi but we do not require salmonella paratyphi here so it's only for salmonella typhi and the last is the shigella for shigella again it ferments only glucose it ferments only glucose so again it will be producing alkaline by acid alkaline slurt acid but it will gas will be negative and h2s will also be negative so this is the entire all the biochemical tests for the enterobacteria family thank you